Alright guys, welcome to your 33rd C++ tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys an easier and quicker way to create an array, and that's through the use of loops. So in the last tutorial, I taught you guys what an array was, and also that we can create an array using something called an array initializer list. And this is actually pretty useful when you're dealing with smaller arrays, but whenever we're working with bigger arrays, say that store 100 elements or 1000 elements, we're going to need a quicker way to create that array instead of making a huge long list. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how to do that. So in our very first line, we're going to declare our array. We aren't going to set it equal to any values just yet. So I'm going to make an array called Bucky, and Bucky can hold nine integers. So in this line of code, we're pretty much telling our, our compiler, hey compiler, whenever you run this program, you better set aside some space in our memory, enough space to hold nine integers. So our compiler says, yes, sir. Now, what we need to do is, well, let me just go ahead and whenever I'm done with this tutorial, I'm going to print out the elements on one side and the value. So I might as well give it a nice little um, prompt now. Element and value. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to print out the element on one side and the value on the other side. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right now one space for elements and I'm gonna list those on this side and right across from it I'm gonna list their values right here so if you're saying alright you talk to talk now time to walk to walk one way to create an array like I said before is the use of loops and in this tutorial I'm gonna be using the for loop so let's go ahead and see what parameters we add for this so we already know that whenever we create an array that holds nine elements every array starts at zero so I think whenever we created this int x, 0 would be a good place to start. And we also know that if we created an array that can hold 9 integers, the last index in that array, excuse me, the last index in that array is going to be 8. Because count with me, get your fingers out, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I only counted to 8, but since we had 0 in there, that takes care of our 9 elements pretty cool huh so we only want to loop from 0 to 8 so that's why you write x is less than 9 we can make it easier x is less than or equal to 8 oops not x comma less than or equal to 8 either way works fine x is less than 9 is a little bit quicker but you know what's one extra character so now of course we want to use x plus plus to increment x by one each time so now whenever we see out x and line, let's go, let's go ahead and run this real quick so I can show you guys. We get the 0 through 8. And you're saying that's pretty cool. So now we have the numbers 0 through 8, and those just happen to be the exact numbers that we need in our array. So now what we can do is something like this Bucky x equals 99 or something stupid. So what this is going to do is it's going to go through your array each element one by one and assign it the value 99 so the first time it loops it's going to set the bucky 0 element to 99 the next time the bucky 1 element to 99 so it's basically going to set every element in your array to 99 until it gets to 8 and then it's going to do it one more time and stop at 9 so pretty cool huh so let's go ahead and print this out and see exactly what I did so see out First, we'll go ahead and print out x, which is the element number, same as this. So this is going to be 0 through 8 on the left-hand side. And now let's just go ahead and give us some space to work with. And after this, just go ahead and write the value of whatever element is stored in there. So this is going to be 99 if we coded it correctly. So let me go ahead and end this line, and whenever I run this, you guys will clearly see what's going on. So what we did is we looped through each array element one at a time. First Bucky 0, then Bucky 1, then Bucky 2, 3, 4, all the way to 8. And each time we loop through it, we set that element equal to 99. So now we have an array called Bucky that has 9 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and each of those elements is equal to the value of 99 there are actually a lot of nines in this tutorial but you know uh... it's a good number so you know it feels appropriate so let me talk you guys through this one more time in the code 
in this line of code we're basically declaring a nine element Bucky array we're telling our computer make sure you set a set set aside enough space to hold nine integers in the array Bucky so it, that's what it did in this line in this line all we did was print out a title basically and in our loop we knew that since we we're creating Bucky nine array that the indexes that it need was zero through eight so we made a simple loop that basically looped through the numbers zero through eight and with those numbers we could reference the Bucky element and assign it equal to the value of 99 for each one and then of course we just printed out the index which was 0 through 8 and then the value which was 99 each time so simple enough so that is basically two different ways to create an array um, again whenever you're working with really big arrays in I don't know it's just a lot easier than using an initializer list because if you created an initializer list with like a hundred values then you would go ahead and have to type a hundred values in here and it would just get messy really quick so this is a faster way um, it takes a little more thinking but it's definitely worth it so for now that's all I have for you guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial